Thanks to Oba, we might be saying goodbye to the notch forever. This is Pocket Now, and I'm Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I'm here in Shenzhen right now, as Oppo brought me out here for Innovation Day 2019. This is their first uh, big event where they show off pretty much everything going on in the Oppo ecosystem. There were a number of different announcements, uh, like little teasers of things like wearables and truly wireless headphones and stuff like that. Uh, but one of the show stealers was their new AR glasses. Uh, the thing is, the AR glass uh, do provide a bit of a HoloLens type experience and I did try that out. Uh, you might be seeing that in a video a little bit later on, but once we got to the exhibition area where everything was actually displayed, there was another thing that just took everybody's attention, and it's this, what Oppo calls the USC, the under screen camera. Okay, so this is actually not a particularly new thing from Oppo. This was actually announced back at MWC Shanghai and everyone went nuts for it. Now I can see why. The reason is because you can't actually see the camera. That's the point. Oppo put a camera underneath this tiny little area at the top of this peculiar looking version of an Oppo Reno, I want to say this is. Um, this is an interesting version of the phone because not only does it have a flush camera on the back, it actually doesn't have any buttons. It actually harkens back to the Vivo Next 3 a little bit. Uh, so Oppo might be employing a number of different design choices with this particular phone, but of course, the marquee feature here, that USC. Okay, so how exactly does this all work? Well, Oppo has made uh, the top portion, that little square that you can just barely see in these clips right now, uh, as transparent as possible, just enough so that they can still display stuff on top of it, but when you have to use that tiny little square that is around the camera, it actually goes transparent, so you can allow a little bit of light or just enough light to get through so that you can actually use the camera effectively. What's funny is in all of these little clips, uh, I'm using my Panasonic GH5 and it happens to have a little bit of a problem with Moray. That's just something that my camera does. It actually really helped in locating where this little area is. So if you were to think about it in terms of a notch, it looks like a teardrop notch, but it's a perfect square up there. And it's something that you don't see when you're just using the phone outright. I mean, just take a look at this clip here where the display is fully on there, but there's no pop-up camera. There's no notch. There's no weird way of actually moving the front facing camera away from the display so that it actually doesn't cut into the viewing experience. And then Isa here is actually using the camera in order to take a few selfies, get some video done. And for the most part, the viewfinder shows that the quality is pretty much where you would expect it to be. Now, Oppo has addressed the fact that there is a whole layer on top of the camera, uh, on top of the optics that might actually affect the camera quality. Uh, what they say officially is that the camera will approach the levels of typical flagship smartphone front facing cameras. I love that the term approach is pretty much there, so I guess what Oppo is trying to say is that the average user probably won't be able to tell a difference, but then when people like us start pixel peeping and trying to uh, compare it to other front-facing cameras that we know are really good, maybe we're going to see a difference. Back at MWC Shanghai, Oppo did say that the camera module itself has a larger aperture and the sensor is a little bit bigger, but we really have no idea what kind of sensor is in there just yet. Uh, but hopefully once a phone actually comes out with this uh, under screen camera, we're actually going to have some of those specs available for you. So here's to hoping that Oppo tunes the software correctly so that even if there is that little layer on top that will change or affect uh, picture quality, that the processing will be able to make up for that. Oppo software will know where you are in the operating system and change that area at the top accordingly. So obviously the camera app is one place and then this is supposed to be just as effective for video calls and also for things like face unlock, which I think is really awesome. The reason why is because you probably don't even have to see a hole or anything actually searching for your face whatsoever. With pop-up cameras, it kind of comes up a little bit and then goes back down. But in this case, nothing is moving, nothing is cutting into the display. All you get is that display. And honestly, I can't wait to see what device Oppo puts the USC in because this particular device is actually kind of enticing on its own. We couldn't really get a whole lot of details as to what phone we were holding, but again, it didn't have any buttons. It had just all of that display on the front with no notches, no pop-ups, no nothing. It was basically just a slab of a phone and isn't that what's supposed to be the dream for smartphone users? In any case, this is just one of the many innovations that Oppo has been showing off here at Innovation Day 2019. You can look forward to even more, especially over on Pocket Now social media and also on my social media. You can follow me over at Instagram at JVTechT as you're following at Pocket Now on the social media so you can see what else we're going to find here at Innovation Day. 
But in any case, get into the comment sections down below. Let me know what you think about the USC, the underscreen camera by Oppo. Uh, Oppo is known for a lot of different innovations in smartphones, including this, VOOC charging, um, and a number of other things that we're hopefully going to be seeing very soon in 2020. So uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Consider hitting that bell over on the side so that you can keep up with everything Pocket Now is doing and drop some likes on this video. Again, get into the discussions down below and we will just see you in our next video.